To access your learning for this week, first you will need to go to the ARC Tyndall website. One way you can do this is through Google. Type in ARC Tyndall Primary Academy. And click search. Click on the first web page that comes up and this will take you to our school's home page. Once you are here, click the blue box to access our virtual school. On our virtual school, you will see links to different year group pages. Click on these links to access your year group's learning for the week. You can also find the email addresses for your teachers and you can find a link to Tyndall Tube for videos from your teachers to support with your learning. In addition, as you scroll down, you will find some useful websites with free resources that you can use to support you with your learning in the different curriculum areas. At the bottom of the page, you will see some extra links to other websites that are free and can help you with your learning at home. If you need any support at all, remember you can email your teachers using the email addresses listed on this page and they will be able to help you. To access your learning each week, you will first need to click through to your year group web page. For this video, I will be using the Year 2 page. Once you are on your Year Group's web page, scroll down to find this week's learning. Your learning is updated every Monday, so please make sure you check back to find out what activities and learning you need to do each week. You will see there's a number of different subjects. Phonics, Writing, Reading, Grammar, Maths, science or history or geography, PE and DT. If your subject has a video with it, please make sure you watch the video first before clicking the link to complete your activities as this will support you with your learning. Make sure you check the rest of your year group's web page as there are lots of useful things on here such as your knowledge organisers, spelling lists and links to other websites that will support you with your learning. You can also find your year group email address. So if you need any support from your teachers, they love hearing from you. So make sure that you email them too. To access your grammar and reading for the week, you will first need to scroll back down to this week's learning. For grammar, watch the video first as this will support you with your learning. Then click here to go to Active Learn. Log in. Make sure if you have capital letters in your username that you use these when you are typing. Make sure you have entered the school code HQ9S, then click Sign In. You will then see your Active Learn page that looks like this. To find out the work that your teachers have allocated to you, click on My Stuff at the top. You can see I have five tasks allocated in the red bubble. The first thing you'll be able to see are the books that you have been set to read. You can see I have five books to choose from. I've already opened this book, so maybe I would like to click on this to continue to read it, or I could choose another. I think I'm going to choose what's out there. Click on this book to read it. You can either choose to have the book read to you or you can read it for yourself. Use the arrows at the bottom to turn the pages. As you are reading, you will see these little yellow bugs pop up. Sometimes they're hidden, so you have to look really carefully for them. 
When you've read a page, click the book and it will take you to some comprehension questions. Read the question or click the speaker to have it read to you. Then answer the question using your mouse. When you have finished, click done and continue to read the book. Make sure you have clicked on all of the bugs on all of the pages before you have finished the book. Some pages do not have bugs, but some have more than one. Make sure you have clicked all of the bugs and answered the questions for that book to have been completed. If at any time you want to zoom in, use the button in the bottom left, and if at any time you want to close the ebook, you can click the close button in the right hand corner. And this will take you back to your main page. You will see I have two unfinished books and three brand new books. When you have read each book and answered all of the questions, you will then be given new books. From this dashboard, you can also access your grammar work. At the top, you will see the grammar and spelling icon. You will see I have one assigned activity. Click here. My activity is capital letters. Click to access. Once the activity has loaded, you need to work through the activity, completing it to the best of your ability. Once you have finished, click the finish button at the bottom.